Hello everyone, this is Darwell20, and welcome to episode 108 of Darwell20's Let's Play series, where today I have a second nether portal. Yay! Now, interestingly, the way they connect is being very vanilla Minecraft nether portal-y, but they mostly work the way I need them to, at least. So if I go through this portal, I come out here, and then I create a nice little loop. Loinks. Uh, this middle section is entirely opened up, except for the floorboards and the ceiling. Uh, and then the walls here, obviously, are all filled in nicely. And then it loops right around to this nether portal. Which very nicely. Works pretty well, too. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Boom. Does that look cool, or what? That looks pretty good, right? I think I've got these right, because the base is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I did do all this right, correct? I hope so. Now what's interesting is you'd expect this one to connect to the one over there, but it doesn't. But that's okay, I guess. I don't know. Don't look at me, I just work here. Uh, now I might want to expand this a little bit more on this side, just because I want them to kind of look right. Um, so what I might do... If I clear this out, we should be fine to do this, by the way. I realized that I was being a little bit inconsistent in my... in my stuff, and that's not a big deal, but, you know, you want to be a little bit more consistent. That should be safe. Okay. Will this look better, you think? Good, right? Is this like, am I crazy? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. What do I do here? One, two, three, four to the end, right? One, two, three, four to that. Yeah, no, that's right. Yeah, that's about right. Yeah, uh... Why does this one look bigger than this one? Am I crazy? What is the total width? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Internal, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Internal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Internal. Doesn't that look... I guess they're the same. Okay, cool. As long as they're the same, I'm happy. Yeah, so going out this portal should come out over here. And then going in this portal. Remember, I broke it on the other side, so I had to reconnect the, the stuff to bring me in right here. Perfect. All right, cool. So let's, uh, let's give it a try with the whole, we're going to go the whole circle uh, with this guy and see what happens. Cool. Um, and then we're going to set up a little bit of an automation to make that happen. And then we should be cool. Cool? Cool. Okay. So you and you, and we're going to go. Here goes nothing. So normally we would stop at each of these stops, but we're not. So here's sugar. We would stop and pick up sugar. Here's the other one. We'd stop and pick up the other one. Eggs, right? And whoosh. Oh man, we are fast. We came through pretty fast, so we had a lot of uh, we had a lot of speed coming through that portal. Normally we would have stopped there at lava, and then we can loop around here, and that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Don't forget, as a player, I, re I need to reassume control uh, of everything. Boom. Arrived. Nice. Okay, cool. So let's automate this process now with a train schedule, right? So what we'd want to do, so the first stop would be uh, travel to station sugar right and in theory you should be what are you are you wonky again why do you keep getting wonky chief 
Why does this one keep being broken? Isn't that weird? Eggs. Okay. So you're going to want to travel to sugar and then travel to eggs and then travel to lava and then finally back to station one. And for now, we're just going to say a five second delay between each one. Now, I don't know if I chunk loaded over here, so I should probably chunk load over here. Yeah, so for now, we're just going to say a five second delay on each one, but we'll probably say is let's make sure that we're getting items, right? So um, first things first, let's chunk load this guy. I just want to make sure the whole area is chunk loaded. And look, the gas are not shooting at me, which is very nice. They're like, I can't see through that perfectly clear glass. There's no dire wolf there. Which I very much appreciate. Uh, do we want to do the whole, like, no item transfer thing? So at sugar, how about instead of weight, we would say... Uh, cargo inactivity for five seconds. That works. And the same thing here, cargo inactivity for five seconds. Same deer, scheduled, will become cargo inactivity for five seconds. And you're going to have cargo inactivity for five seconds and station powered. Cool. So with this signal off, what we should see, we're going to need a lead. We're going to want our cow back. As you can see, I've been using a lot of building and whatnot gadgets. You, please sit. Ding. All right, so let's, let's go with what happens here, right? So we should have a five second pause. Right. Look at that. Pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Eggs being delivered, presumably. Mm -hmm. And then into the nether we go. Now here's a question. Oh, look, I didn't go through the nether with them. Ah, that's cool. Because I wasn't a passenger. I bet if I was sitting in a seat, that would have worked. I bet if I install a passenger seat, that would work. Right? And then what should happen is that he should go through here. How cool is it watching the train go through the nether portal, by the way? Like, we're gonna have to... Now, with you being the signal off, does that mean you're not gonna go again? I think that's what that means, right? I think that's what that means. Um, so two things. Let's disassemble the train for a sec so I can have another seat installed because i want a passenger seat you know maybe we'll put one back here so i can chill if i if i so desire all right reassemble train but i also now want to do a quick test of if i give you a redstone signal will you go uh, probably not i probably have to re-give you this guy train is following the schedule okay cool Beautiful. All right, so I kind of want to watch and see the train go around without me being in the nether. Because in theory, because chunk loaded, it should work, right? Goodbye, Mr. Cow, have fun in the nether. Let's watch how cool this looks, by the way. Uh, oh, that's right, he has to stop at eggs first. Dude, that is the coolest thing in the world. I am just saying mind blown at how cool that is, right? And then in theory, in about 10 or 15 seconds, he should show up here. In theory. Holy cow, he actually showed up. I'm very impressed. I would not have been surprised if he didn't show up. I don't even know how this works, but it's magic. It's literally magic. It is literally magic. Okay. Okay. So let's pick up this whole train setup here, because now what I want to do 
is I would like to unload the junk here that we've collected. Okay, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna start making the cakes. Is that cool? We're gonna start making the cakes. And do I even need this here anymore? No, I don't think so, right? Okay, good, 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 good. Uh, so then you're gonna want to unload probably pretty quickly uh, the fluids and the cakes, right? So what we're gonna want, maybe, maybe here-ish. And here-ish is about where we're gonna want the interfaces to go. So one of you and one of you ought to be cool. Perfect. And then you're gonna wanna unload. So remember the condition is five seconds of no transfer and a redstone signal. So because I don't have the redstone signal on, he's gonna leave. But with the redstone signal off, he would come here, he would unload everything, and then he would, you know, go back. Cool? Um, so let's get um, a create pipe uh, and, and some other things. Yes, uh, so pipes, uh, which we will probably also want a tank. And how about one of these? And that should be cool. So we're gonna want you into a tank, right? Now, if I wanted this thing, does this have like a about like an amount of fluid that it can hold? One bucket's worth. Okay, so that's not much. But would you like, does that work? I have no idea. Does that work? Is that a thing you can do? If we had a depot we could find out, right? I'm just gonna test something here. If we had some lava and a bucket, can we put, can I not just that? I guess not. Uh, okay, that that's something I've learned. All right, well, let's start the draining process with this guy. Uh, how do we want to power all these contraptions over here? Uh, do we want a windmill, like a quickie windmill, or do we want a quickie steam boiler? Windmills are nice because they are just, you know, free energy. We could do windmill. Could do windmill. Doesn't have to be quite as big as this one, right? This is a really big windmill. Like a really big windmill. But we could set something up like right here-ish, like centered. How about a windmill bearing? Should be able to make most of these things pretty easily. Uh, it's two stacks of sails, right? Oh, really? Did this recipe change? Look at that. Okay, cool. Today I learned. Interesting, that recipe changed. Not that I'm complaining. Hey. Okay. And then I usually just go with like a nice little piece of oak wood in the middle. Let's do... Building gadget, where are you at? It'll be a lot easier to build this. Remember last time I built one? I didn't have flight, did I? No, I did not. I shouldn't need any more tracks. I shouldn't need any more obsidian. Um, and I'm just gonna completely wing it. I'm not, I'm not doing anything super fancy, right? I'm just gonna go like, hey, here's a windmill, right? Uh, we're going to put some oak here. And if I said, how many is it? Like 15-ish? Right? So if we wanted to horizontal wool column. Technically, 
we would want this one to be 14, right? Actually, no, we could probably just do this. And then this. Is that cool? And then we would want a vertical column down. So you look at the bottom of the block to do a down. You look at the top of the block to do an up. I hope 14 is the right amount. It might be 13, but we'll find out. Is it 13? Is that what it is? Maybe it's even less. How many was it? Now I have to go look at this one, because I know this is, like, perfect. So if we're talking from the center, we're doing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Oh, it's 11. Oh my, that's a lot. I was very wrong. I was very wrong. So then you should be a range of 10, right? So I did 1 because we had 14 there. So I want to do this and then four of these. And then four of these. And then a horizontal column going this way. Going this way. And how about just a build to me? You know, I feel like there's not enough. Because shouldn't it be two full stacks? Isn't that it? Eh, it's good enough. I could have sworn I mathed this correctly. I definitely did something wrong. There we go. All fixed. That should be 81.96. Nice. Okay. Uh, let's put down one of these guys then. Uh... Let's sleep through the night. I thought I had a torchy dude here. Do I not have a torchy dude here? Thought I did. Maybe I didn't. I don't remember. Okay, so we're going to want um, a bunch of these and a bunch of these, but obviously one of them is going to be, or at least two of them are going to be vertical gearboxes, right? The best invention. All right, and then you can all be cleared up. And this looks good to me. Ah, I'm getting smacked in the face with a windmill. Dude, I love this. Remember like many episodes ago, I set up the automation such that it always keeps 64 bricks in my inventory. It's the coolest thing I've ever done. It is literally just super cool. I'm just stating that as a fact. It is a fact, and I want you to know it. Okay, uh, so let's get uh, a gear thingy turning here, right? Because um, that's what we're gonna need. So, a nice little gear. Yeah, that should be fine.
Okay. So we're probably going to have a whole thing going on here to make this super cool, right? Uh, kind of like we did over in the other place. Like, we'll have some underground compartments. So do we want to, like, destruction gadget our way into that? Uh, let's just do a depth of, you know what, five does sound good. Let's just do straight down one for now. Okay. And then down here, we'll do up three, down one. Does that look right? Or do we want to go, let's do up two. And a depth of 10. Is that cool? Yeah. That should be cool. Because I don't think there's anything really under here that we care too much about. Okay. Perfect. Okay. And what we'll do is something like maybe here. Can you reach all the way over here? I'm just curious. Oh my, you can. That's cool. And if we need to speed this up with the speedy bits, we can. There's actually something I wanted to try. Um, I saw a thing called the rotational speed controller. Rotational speed controllers relay rotation from their axis in a large cogwheel to a large wheel above them. Use the scroll input on its side that conveyed something, something. Right? Let's try that thing. Because I'm just curious, like, how does this work now? It looks expensive to make, so I'm hopeful that it, like, does what I hope it does and makes it so that, like, in one compact block, I can really ramp up the speed very quickly. Because that would be cool. Right? Um, it looks like it... It looks like it... Let's do this. I'm just playing with this for now. Right? And then if I put a large cogwheel in here... My, oh my, look at that. And then I can... Wow, that's nifty. That is very nifty. Oh, you can make it go backwards? That's cool. That is so cool. How cool is that? Right? That is super spiffy. That is super spiffy. So I have to assume by now, by the way, unless you're going the wrong direction. Yeah, that works. Cool. Now, do you also like? You're not gonna. You're not gonna transfer directly down. I really wanted like. Yeah, you have a fluid capacity, but you're being all zero e right now. Hmm. Hmm. You know what I could do? Mm, no, I don't like any of that. Let me think about this for a sec. What I probably want to do is just have... I'm curious, are you showing me in there that they're low? Oh, that's so cool. It does. Neat. Neat El Burrito. Um, so you've got 8,000 here. Uh, what's something that a spout will do?
Can you just do like fill a bucket? Right? If I wanted a lava bucket, will you will you fill by spout? Yes, you will. Okay, cool. I just want to validate that this isn't some kind of like visual misnomer, but no. Yeah. So if I wanted this to fill up with this lava, I need to pump the lava from the tank into it. So I will need a second uh, pump here, right? And I don't think pumps allow, unless I'm mistaken. Oh, do you lose your, you lose your internals? Okay. Today I learned that too. But you won't make an angled connection, right? I don't think so. So what we want, really? You, you lost that fluid? That's a bummer. But what we could do, probably be something like this. And that. Does that sound cool? And maybe I get to play with this after all. Because what I would think is we'd want to bring this down. We'd want a vertical gearbox, like so. We would feed you into rotational speed controller, which I super love, I'm just saying. Make you 128-ish. Is that cool? I like that. Do I want that higher? No, I think it's fine where it is. Eh, maybe I do. And then we could put the rotational speed controller here. That works. All right, now we're gonna want a tiny cog here and a tiny cog here. And realistically, I should be able to do this, right? And that would get both of them cooking. Yeah, that's cool. Dude, I could just have such a field day with Create. There's so many cool things. Whoops, that wasn't my wrench anymore. Yeah. And then a regular gearbox. Perfect and perfect. Nice. So you're going to fill up with lava. You're going to fill up with lava. And that is cool. Should we let this guy go get more lava? Should we try that? Let's give it a shot. I'm going to send him off. Go get more lava for me, please, sir. So what he should do is he'll go there. He'll wait a few seconds. He should he should be, you know, I'm off right now, right-ish. Yeah. I guess he remembers his last setting. That's kind of neat. Right? Now, in theory, what should happen is he should come back with two full tanks of lava. He should. I'm not going to go with him. I'm going to let him go by himself. I'm going to let him be a big grown-up cow and go get his own lava. And in theory, number one, it should take a little longer than last time for him to come back. I don't know how much longer, because remember, that thing's spinning pretty fast. So it should be really fast, uh, but not instant, right? It's definitely taking longer. He says as he keeps talking, hoping this cow shows. Well, oh my goodness, there's a cow. Hello, cow. And he's got lava. Look, there's lava in the tanks. And then look. We should start getting lava soon. Yup. It's working. It's working. It's working. Oh, come on. It's so cool. It's working. That is the coolest thing ever. Come on, that's the coolest thing ever. Tell me, tell me it's not. I dare you. Because if you do, 
you're lying. All right, so I'm going to call that pretty functional, right? Uh, now, the next thing to do will be to be getting the items out of here, um, which shouldn't be too bad at this point. We just want to uh, offload from here, probably with a brass doohickeys, right? And some belts. But we're going to do that next episode. What we're going to do is wrap up here. We'll come back next episode. And next episode's goal will be to unload the items and set them up. Because we've now got netherrack. In this in this inventory here, we should have, and we can even validate this if we, if we really wanted to, uh, if we disassemble this train for a sec... And then looking here, we've got two stacks of sugar, a little over a stack of eggs, and some netherrack, right? So that's what we know we have. And you can have your, your hat back, Mr. Cow. Ding! Thank you, Mr. Cow. You're the best. Uh, I love the cow conductor thing. Like, that is just hilarious to me. Uh, so we've got those items, right? So now what we need to do, effectively, is... Boop, 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 boop. Boop, boop, boop. So we know what we need to make now, right? Uh, we want to make blaze cakes, which are going to be lava, which is the spout, which is what we already have set up. That's going to be a belt, by the way, not a depot. And then we're going to have the blaze cake base, which is going to be a compactor with cinder flour. We've already got the sugars and the eggs. So the cinder flour is going to be made in a crushing wheel. So we want to pipe the items out, send them into some kind of storage container temporarily by filtering them. Then we uh, set them up to, to do the thing with the mechanical press. Does that sound cool? Next episode, though. For now, Dalton, I sign off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.